Hello and welcome. My name is Nate from Video Games Recon, and in this video, we're going to be discussing my top five worst or least impressive things from the Black Ops 3 beta. As previously stated in my last video, links in the description and on screen, these are my thoughts and opinions based mostly upon playing the beta, and many of the things discussed might have changed come full release. Also, the footage in the background may or may not be relevant to what I'm discussing at that moment. And of course, this is all just my humble opinion. So as per usual, feel free to post your thoughts in the comments. But do try not to lose your shit should you happen to disagree. Anywho, without any further ado, let's do it to it. At number 5 is lag. Now, I'm aware this is a beta, and at times they are specifically trying to stress test the servers and infrastructure as a whole, but I would intermittently have laggy games every now and then, and up to the point of being unplayable. Now, this in itself isn't a terrible thing, as again, this is just a beta. But when looking at the pings of all players, but you see not all players were always receiving the same issue. Sometimes it seemed like only certain players were having latency problems, and others weren't. Which begs the question, are all of the servers we're playing on dedicated, and if they are, are they balanced geographically, as it doesn't always appear so? And if not, that doesn't bode well for full release. That said, it is a beta, so I'm not super worried about this, as it could have just been for testing purposes, and or they have plenty of time to fix it for full release. In at 4 is how lethal traps are too weak and are near useless. Now, in particular, I'm talking about the Trip Mine and not the Nomad Special Hive, which is probably a bit overpowered. I'm sure the thought on this is to discourage camping. First off, that's not going to work for two reasons. One being that people will just equip shock charges instead, and the second being people who want to camp are going to camp regardless. You're not going to be able to completely stop this. No Call of Duty game ever has, so quit trying as such heavy-handed decisions affect the average gamer who happens to like trip mines and uses them in a more legitimate fashion. Now, this is particularly annoying for me as I like to run lethal traps for my sniper and LMG classes, so I don't get shot in the back when holding down a line of sight, say in Domination for example. But the trip mine is less than useful in this regard, as it works at best 50% of the time, and almost never if they have flat jacket equipped. For me, the perfect lethal trap was the Bouncing Betty from Black Ops 2, as it was a skill based trap, in that if you run up on a Betty, you can listen for it to set off and go prone or drop shot, thus evading it, and is skill based instead of luck based, like for example a Claymore in Modern Warfare 3. And proper placement of a Betty is also skill based, as to make it as likely as possible to get a kill, usually by hiding it. So my thoughts on this are, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. My hopes going forward is that they buff the trip mine so it works just like a Betty does, as at the moment you end up using them more like a grenade than a trap, which defeats the point of their existence as we already have a bunch of grenades. Number 3. Perks feel weak and uninteresting. There is only one, maybe two entirely original perks, and only one of them is in any way imaginative. As for the most part, they are all boring as shit. On top of which, they don't make too much of an impact, and some are outright chocolate teapots. Now, the upside to this is that there's no crutch perks that you feel like you need to have in order to be competitive. But as is, they just feel lacklustre and very diminished in terms of use in your setup strategies. Perks used to be a significant part of my loadout, However, in Black Ops 3, I think I'll end up concentrating mostly on attachments, which feels like a shame. In it too is how some of the specials and killstreaks are unbalanced. The first of two that comes to mind is the rejack ability, which is akin to last stand except you can't fire once down. Instead you have a period of time in which you can revive yourself and jump out of some sort of nanobot gas cloud to shoot the enemy which can be a right pain in the ass if you are on the receiving end of this, as you've already killed the guy once and now you've got to do the whole thing again. And if you end up dying from this, it feels like a bit of a cheap death. And the kill streak that comes to mind is Raps, which is a very interesting streak, 
as dropships appear and drop a bunch of automated giant explosive balls that comb the map looking for enemies. Now both of these things are imaginative and interesting and should be applauded for that, but both of them feel a little OP and cheap and are in need of some serious tweaking. Now before we get into our number one worst and least enjoyable thing from the Black Ops 3 beta, let's discuss a couple of dishonourable mentions. First up is due to the wall running, jetpacks and swimming abilities that the maps can feel a little small. Now size wise they're probably not that dissimilar to previous games, but due to the new ways of traversal the maps are a lot easier to get around, which creates a problem as without increasing the player count, which they can't really do as they're trying to keep parity to last gen systems, and thus can't just make a map bigger to compensate for the new traversal, as the maps will feel empty of players. So they've kind of caught themselves in a catch 22 situation on this one. Next we have a weird meta game that started to develop during the beta, surrounding UAVs, counter UAVs, launchers and black hats. In the every game there tended to be a couple of people on each team running black hats, playing their own mini meta game, trying to hack all of the UAVs and counter UAVs, to a point that it became pointless to run any of these streaks as they would just end up getting hacked and even if they didn't it started to make sense to run a launcher as your secondary as the XM53 was both lock on and free fire. So it made sense to equip it and whenever you spawn, look up into the sky and shoot down a couple of UAVs before carrying on, so as to get those free UAV takedown points and if there aren't any UAVs, you can still use it to clear rooms and so on, so as it's not a waste of a slot. Now although all this can be fun, I'd rather spend my time shooting bad guys instead of looking up to the sky half of the time trying to shoot down or hack UAVs, just my two cents on that one. So this malarkey probably needs a tweak as well, but heck, that's what beaters are for, right? Okay, last but by no means least, in at number one is bad spawns. Now I've heard people say this wasn't really an issue for them, but for me it was a regular occurrence. The best analogue I can give for this is Nuketown from Black Ops 1 and 2 in that you have all sorts of weird spawns, particularly when on the losing side. Like being spawn trapped and spawn killed, spawning in the middle of the map, spawning at one end of the map, running all the way to the other end, coming across no enemies and having to run all the way back just to come across some bad guy who probably ends up killing you for your troubles. But by far the worst thing I had happen a couple of times was spawning in essentially the enemy spawn spot. I had a couple of occasions where I would spawn surrounded by enemies and one time where I spawned in at the exact same time and place as two enemy players and had an old west style shootout, which of course I was on the losing end of with being outnumbered. Now this sort of stuff is understandable on a super small map like Nuketown, but I was getting issues like this on Hunted, arguably the biggest map available. Like I've reiterated before, this is obviously a beta and designed to catch stuff like this in its early stages so as they can be fixed. I just hope this is something they take the time to look at as there's nothing more aggravating or worse than being spawn killed, seeing as there's nothing you can do about it and it feels oh so very cheap. Okay, so that was my worst or least favourite things from the Black Ops 3 beta. What do you guys think? What annoyed you the most about the things in the beta? Feel free to hit me up in the comments with your thoughts. And there will be a link on screen and in the description to my previous video which for balance will be discussing my top 5 best things from Black Ops 3. So this just leads me to say if you enjoyed this video please like, comment, share and subscribe for more BS of a similar nature. Thank you and goodbye.